Well, hello, hello again. Hey, take a look at the title here, Modes and the Rules of Music, but shh, got a secret for you. And this is the important thing. You'll, you'll figure it out sooner or later if you play long enough. All of those rules are relative. Just forget about rules. Rules are important with some things. I know there's like the number system. I've heard it called the Nashville number system, as if country music came up with it or something. Where each of your uh, your chords are given a number, you know, capital and lowercase if it's major or minor, and it shows you what chords generally go in that key. And hey, that's useful. You can use that. That's good. That's good stuff. And you have modes, and they all have you know types of chords in their keys and different scales, and you can follow those rules and you can learn them. They're really good. I'd recommend learning it. You know, there are a lot of good channels that teach that stuff in depth, like Adam Neely and. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Rick Beato, and some of them are, you know, quite good, and I I've learned a lot of that stuff, you know? But for the beginner, and for somebody that just wants to play, I can tell you that honestly, most of us musicians, most of us don't really give it that much thought. Even those of us who, who know modes and know scales, I don't like to think about it that much. And I, I can tell you why it can get in the way of things, you know? Now, knowing the modes can, you know, give you inspiration and give you ideas. And, uh, you know, looking at chords within those modes can give you ideas for songwriting. But really, you can just use any chord or any note in a scale that sounds good to you. By all means, do it, you know? I mean, you want to find people that break a lot of the rules, the quote rules, Man, I've played a lot of progressive music. I've played jazz with people, and you know, I've played progressive rock and some of the like progressive metal kind of stuff. And man, they're like, there are no rules. Not really. You'll base it on something and then just kind of wander off, you know, especially with like jam bands. They'll wander in whatever direction they like. And I can give you an example of, of uh, using like modes unintentionally in songwriting. I wrote a song that I played on this channel a while ago called Catherine's Lament, and I'm just kind of pedaling back and forth between A and E. Now that could be A major or E major, but it kind of has more of an E feel to it. And then at the chorus, I go into a G, C, G. And then over to an A. Now, you know, that's more like the key of C or G, and then the A, D, A is more like in the key of A, so you can see I'm kind of moving around between keys, but it sounds good. And I didn't sit down and figure out what mode is this in, what, a, you know, how am I writing this? It just sounded good. And that's the main thing. Play around with chords. Don't be afraid of playing notes in your scale that aren't in the scale. Don't be afraid of playing notes or chords in your song that aren't in the key you're in. What you're doing is playing uh, music in, in modes. You're playing something modal, whether or not you realize it. But you don't have to know the names. You don't have to know, like, is this Lydian or Mixolydian or Phrygian. You don't have to know any of that. You don't have to know what scale it is to be able to play it. You can just kind of play it with trial and error. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that since that's what most musicians do. And then somebody very educated will come along and uh, if, if they hear your song and they'll say, oh, you were doing this and you were playing in this mode and you were playing this scale over this chord. And, and that's good. It's good that there are people that know that stuff and it's good to learn it if you get the chance to, if you feel up to it, definitely learn that kind of stuff. It'll improve you as a musician. But I just want you guys to go forward playing music knowing that there really are no rules other than does it sound good to you. And that's that's really important. A lot of people, what, what does and doesn't sound good is pretty uh, pretty personal, you know? Everybody has different opinions. And there are some songs, like in, in pop music and top 40 country, that tend to sound good to lots of people. But if you find something you like playing that sounds good to you, or to you and some of your friends, you know, and, and that's what you enjoy doing. Don't 
don't let it slow you down or stop you just because other people don't like the way it sounds or don't particularly appreciate it. Music is really a personal thing and, and it's about it's about getting to know you and what you like and you'd be surprised what people actually do like sometimes. There have been a lot of very strange bands that have, you know, that have made it, you know? So, hey, go out there, experiment. Don't use just what you're, you're told is in your key or in your scale. Try different things. Try new things. You might find something that sounds cool. You might find something that's very you and you can develop your own sound and your, uh, you know, your own techniques. So, certainly that, that's what I do. I don't think about the modes. I just, I just play. So, you guys keep rocking. Peace out. I'll see you next time, baby.